Oxen Films is turning 20 this year. Join the Oxen Films 20th Anniversary Logo Making Contest. Get a chance to win 20,000 pesos in cash. Open to all individuals worldwide. Comment your entries in our official Oxen Films Facebook page. Deadline is on June 10, 2021. Join now. The more entries, the more chances of winning. See poster for more details. Maraming maraming salamat guys for watching another beautiful episode of Mic Check. Ayan, sa mga walang sawang mag-comment, mag-like, mag-subscribe at mag-share ng ating Mic Check. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo. At dahil dyan, meron tayong napaka-special bisita. Very very handsome little boy. Yan, pero ready na siya para sa kanya mga future endeavors. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on Mic Check we have... Adrian Genisho! Hi guys. Sweet naman ang introduction. Little boy talaga. Ang sweet mo rin naman kasi. <laughs> so, um, ano naman ang pinagkakaabalahan ng isang uh, Adrian ngayon? So, I've been looking forward sa projects namin ni Direct Science because if you guys didn't know, I, I might have projects with Direct Science soon. And then, now I've been training lang recently. That's it. Training? So, yeah. I believe that you are actually an athlete. Yeah, I am an athlete. What do you do? Uh, I do triathlon. Triathlon? Wow! At a very young age, no? Yeah. Have you competed? Uh, yeah, I've been competing internationally. Internationally. Yeah. How about the SEA Games? SEA Games, no. Unfortunately, I wasn't part of it. Ah, yeah. okay. But maybe sometime. Yeah, maybe sometime. Yeah, that could, be a, that, that, that could be a good goal for me. And it's one of the things that I look forward to competing in. You know, I actually uh, because you know, being in this industry, you get a lot, uh, you get to meet a lot of singers, actors, yeah. you know, dancers. But yeah. it's a rare opportunity for me to speak with an athlete. An athlete so yeah. uh, thank you for giving Mike Check a chance to have you here on our show. Of course, it's my pleasure too. So if I may just ask you, what made you interested? In, you know, millennials right now we are kind of involved with different stuff, diba? Yeah. Yung iba ML, nag ML, ML naglalaro. Yeah. Others do TikTok, they focus more on that. Ikaw, you focus more on, of course, doing something healthy for yourself, yeah. I believe. So what made you do uh, this kind of activity sports. or uh, sports? So it was a long story. So it started off because I had phobia in water. I think oh. it's aquaphobia, if I'm not mistaken. And then it led me to go to swimming because I had to get over it. Because kite fountains, I was scared taking shower, I was scared. Really? Yeah. You're scared of taking, taking a shower. shower. <laughs> yeah. It happened around the Undoy. Okay. Yeah. Tell me more about it. So, Why? Uh, one of the things that my first coach did was throw me in the water because it's a swimming pool. Okay. So, parang I was like... No, no that was uh, probably the management. But tell me, why were you scared of the water? Uh, when I was younger, yun nga, it led to that part na coaches scare me and then fo following weeks later, nagka-undoy, typhoon undoy, tapos I'm one of the people na naapektuhan nun. Oh, so your coach, tinapon ka sa water? Yeah. Ah, like, tapos that's how he ka. coaches me. Oh yeah, and then he, threat he scares me sometimes, yeah. And then undoy came? And then undoy came, sakto. Okay, okay, so uh... How does it feel not to shower? <laughs> so, actually, I had no choice. So I, had, I kept crying, and crying, and crying, and crying, and crying. That's it. So what made, uh, what helped you? What helped me to fight this uh, phobia? Uh, I think. I, I, were you? I, I'm sure you were able to overcome. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, what helped you out? What helped me out? Um, I think it was my parents mostly. Because, of I don't think they want, they want me not showering in the first place. <laughs> yeah, so, 
uh, joking aside, yeah, I think my parents helped me a lot because they're the one who pushed me into sport. Uh, and then, yeah, and then ever since I've become who I am because of swimming and then sports. Before that, lang kasi if I could share, uh, I was a swimmer talaga. And then a few years ago, lang ako triathlon. Yeah. And you're good at what you're doing, no? Yeah, I could, you could yes. say it. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. I've seen it. <laughs> so um, now that you're an athlete, how would you actually in encourage our young viewers uh, to try this kind of sports? If you are, if you, of course, you, you are now a part of uh, Oxen Films, yeah. and you will be influencing a lot of people. So, how will you encourage them or influence them to, to do triathlon? So, I'll leave them this short message: is do what you enjoy. Because, kahit anong gusto pa ng parents mo to push you in sports or anything, it's always gonna be up to you. In the end, it's up to you to improve. It's up to you to enjoy the sport. So. If you want to do something passionately, you must enjoy something to do it. Wow, that's very inspiring and I hope you guys would listen to this very young athlete that we have now. Sana magkaroon ka ng maraming maraming medals. <laughs> so, now that you're actually a very good athlete yeah. and you are venturing into another, you know, stepping stone mm -hmm. like this industry, what is it that you would like to learn? Uh, I think since I'm in the sport, I always mingle with people na, who have same interests, who have same hobbies, which is easy to connect. And something that I want to learn is the difference ng culture. Like everybody has different backgrounds. Some people dance, some people had hardships, some people had good times. And I want to relate to them in like a uh, in a deep level where I could speak to them, enjoy to them, meet people from different backgrounds. And that's something that I'd like to to explore myself na rin. All right, so you would like to connect to people. Yeah. All right. Most, uh, in this industry, we have a lot of athletes who turn. Actually, athletes pa rin naman sila, pero sobrang tagaling yeah. sa industry. Katulad ng D Brothers and Chung D, di ba? Yeah, and Chung D. Very good swimmer. So I hope you become like him in the future. Hopefully, yeah. Di ba? Hopefully. So, ano naman ang uh, kaya mo kayang ihandog sa iyong mga fans? Uh, something na I could show my fans is. <laughs> I've been interested in doing TikTok, so if you guys don't mind, uh, check my TikTok. It's Agent Adrian Janisha03. Yeah, you could see some of the stuff I've been doing. I've been trying out dancing and some funny content sometimes. Yeah, so I think they could look forward to some projects go with Direct, with Direct Sion, and my TikTok. Yeah. All right, so we are all we are all looking forward to your. Uh, and future endeavors at Sanong Maging Successful. Of course, you're in good hands because you are with Oxen Films. So once again, maraming maraming salama, Irian, for uh, joining us. And Coloma Apparels have this something for you. Ayan. So uh, sana ay mag-enjoy ka dyan sa kanilang mga paregalo na galing din, of course, from Mike Check. And of course, hindi lang po si Irian na makakatanggap ng something good. Dahil kayo po makakanonood ay makakareceive din ng something from Savage Cosmetics. So we are giving away three packages from Savage Cosmetics sa mga magko-comment down below kung ano ang inyong paboritong sports at bakit. Alright? So please comment down below kung ano ang inyong paboritong sports at bakit. Alright, so Adrian, thank you so much for yeah. joining us. And just like any other guest here in our show, yeah. I actually asked him one final question. What's that question? And my final pressure. question for you is... I'm pressure. Ako. Parang deep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs> 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 na. How do you know if you're ready to love again? I'm ready to love again. Uh, I think this is something that I could connect the message to the people. Na if you think it's the right time, it's always in how you feel. Because in a relationship, I believe that it's supposed to be both ways, not one side. Uh, both of you have to grow together. Both of you have to be happy together. And I think when I realize that me and my whoever I'm meeting in the future uh, are both happy and contented with each other, I think that's the time that I think I'm ready to say na I'm ready to fall in love with this person again. Wow, that's very well said. Thank you so much for sharing wisdom and I hope to see you again in the future. I hope to see you too. All right, so guys, <laughs> maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong panonood. And again, please join me next week for another exciting episode of 
Mike check. check.